South Dakota, your site of this Class A Boys State Basketball Championship Tournament. This is our third poised and is uh, playing like one of the top guards in this tournament. That a quick pass inside ends up with that. When you're out of control, that more than likely than not is going to be an offensive foul. The defender was set in that particular instance. Neuendorf will launch the three. That rattles, but gets... This Elk Point Jefferson team does have some size in the interior, a potential spot where they can take advantage of this game today. They outsize their opponent. In Bit of a contrast from what we saw from them the first two days. They were so fast offensively. Neuendorf ran inside there. It's Gnome who hits the three from the run. Or three minutes for Hamlin. It's closer to the three minute mark. That's gonna get taken away by Van Meter and he's got one player to beat. Goes in, right-handed layup is good. Bound will go from the baseline. Lob pass to the right side of the paint. Jumper is good. That wasn't how the game with now under a minute to go in quarter number one. That was a big bucket for the Huskies. Three That's from a big the left three. wing of 11 from beyond the arc. So 11 of the 15 shots put up by Hamlin were three pointers. Meanwhile, the Huskies struggling from the floor. They get a big shot there by Devin Schmitz. And the, the Huskies go the other way. We've seen that, that story in a number of programs at this tournament as we get a coast to coast buck. No whistle, though. Now under three minutes to go in this first half. Contact with Neuendorf riding all the way in, but the pass in further out. It's right now a seven point game, a three possession contest. They could make this double digits by halftime. Being very selective here now with the shot clock down to five. They'll make their move. Wadsworth, no, couldn't get it to go. Stormo got the rebound. It'll be Gnome for three, and that's good at the buzzer. Dawson Gnome sends his team into the locker room with a 10 point lead. And now have a chance to start cutting away at this 10 point deficit. Tyson Stevenson, one of the main scorers for Hamlin, 0 for 6 from three point land. That one's good. First three point bucket. Who has reached three personal fouls. Nobody really in major foul trouble other than Van Meteren on Hamlin's side and Scarman on the other side. There's a bucket there down low, and who else? East Fornia. Stevenson now 0 of 7 from three point land. Maybe oh, rushing look out. that. We'll see it if you do. Yeah. He's got to wear it. 5.45 left to go. Neuendorf tried to keep the dribble going. The officials will say he did. And Neuendorf inside somehow got that one. As a team for the game overall, but the Huskies playing much better in this quarter. Four of five from the field since the start of this third quarter. That one misses. Just their second miss in the second half. And now a little chance again as the inbound was made. Doesn't seem to be affecting him at the moment, though, as he tried to drive through some contact and Neuendorf. Very physical in this game. This third quarter over the last minute and a half or so, though, has become very, very physical. Neuendorf's one of those guys, the, the, the proverbial gym rats, as he knocks down a three. He just is out there working all the time. And you know he's one of the smaller guys. And back to the action we go here with 2.53 left to go. If your name's Easton, you're having a good day offensively right now. Easton Nor uh, Neuendorf for Hamlin with 10 points. Easton Kempf on the other end. He's got 10 points to a one-and-done offensive possession. Now Neuendorf trying to go coast-to-coast, -coast, kicks it outside. Open shooter for three. That's Wadsworth, and that's good. Neuendorf trying to get a little space away from the defender. Now kicks it over to the other side of the floor. Three from the corners on the way. That's no good. Rebounded. The throw from coast to coast is going to be well. Off turnovers. 18 for Hamlin. Three for the Huskies. Kemp posted up inside. And Gnome tried to take the chair out from underneath. And Kemp stuck with you. Looking for some help. Huskies trying to be a little bit more selective with their passes here. At times have gotten wild trying to get broadcast better along the way. Indeed. Hats off to Jerry. Drive inside and another tough bucket. What? That shot left short. It's going to be rebounded by Elk Point Jefferson as Scarman gets it into the front court in a hurry. That one's no good. Ball loose. Picked up by Kessler. He's off and running with a defender on his hip. Going all the way in and that one's good with the finger here. He'll spin his way inside the lane. Kicks the extra pass to Van Meter in and that one is good. Tough shot off the glass and good. It's his first point. Extra pass, Van Meter in open in the corner. He'll launch the three and he nails it. Finish here today, but for these Huskies, they have a lot to be proud of as this season comes 
to an end here in 23 seconds. Now you get to see some of the young kids getting a chance to earn some tournament time, gaining some valuable experience, which will help them down the road. Yep, ball lost out of bounds here. And one last senior coming out, Levi Miller. Coach Hodkin came over. We chatted before the game. He said that there was a, a fishing trip that these guys took just outside of town during the summer. It was nothing about sports. It was just guys hanging out, and that's what he thought was the turning point in building this culture and allowing them to be a bigger and better team. And they have been a tight-knit group ever since, and this is going to be a battle to the finish as this one wraps up here today. Hamlin, though, victorious, 53-40. to 40, Smiles on that side of the floor as the Chargers provided our first upset win of the